Oh my gosh, part two. You just I accidentally turned it off. I mean, that's under the ground. That is that has been buried. Okay, we could say, oh, maybe there was an old, you know, building here. Yeah, okay, maybe they are. Maybe they, oh, maybe somebody put them here as a decoy government because people like me would then you'd go, well, my theory is it's not worthy. It's wrong because there's new bricks here too. But as I said, bricks last a very, very, very long time. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is that part of a ship's mast? That is solid steel. Solid steel. We look, we find. See, that's been buried. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, see, that's... Oh, guys, that is so old. And then people could say, oh, bits of washed up shipwreck. I don't believe so. Okay, so when we get up here, stick with me. I hope people can understand what I'm pertaining to here. Because sometimes when we speak too much, we get in trouble. Then we can't make videos for a while. So I have to be very delicate in how I present my information. It's been that way for a while now, but it's gotten a lot worse. And we have another purge coming up in December as usual. This time without Susan, who recently departed this earth. Facebook Susan, recently deceased. The one who censored us from speaking she did the first purge, the second purge, and she would have done the third one. Okay, so we've got to keep coming up here. As you can see, this is just, this is everywhere here. We're not talking just rocks. The rocks have become off. They've, they've, the bricks have given way after time and time and time, but the, the bottom layers melted. Um, I can't make it any more simple than actually showing you the evidence. Okay. Try not to cut this video off. That's not the one. Okay. So under this tree, I can't see why anybody would be bothered to throw a brick in this hidey hole under this tree. What has collapsed off the bank up there. However, could be a leftover building brick, building material from these days. I'm not saying it's not. We're just trying to put together the pieces here. It gets really interesting up here. And this is what we do on these journeys. We just have to look and think and study what's in front of us, not what we've been told. Look at the evidence in front of your own eyes. If somebody said to me, that's not melting, that's a special kind of rock. I'd say, well, how come you can find this in just certain places all around the world? Wouldn't it be a lot more common? And how come it's so widespread? But so, yeah. So in such diverse places, we have this same thing. We have this in the Blue Mountain skies. The Blue Mountains, where there is no ocean, is full of this. So we have to retrain our brain, number one, to push out the old information or just put it on the back burner. If you can't let go of it, just open your mind to, the, you know, the consideration that something else happened to. Look at that. So you can see the mud flood. Ah, here's the first brick I found. That's old to have 
pippies growing on it. Oh, oh, they're oysters. You know. And it's under. And there's shards of bricks up there I can't get to. This thing could fall on my head. This tree. Who knows? I'll just give out any time. So... It's a really interesting walk. Now, in the tree here, this one has fallen down. Still alive, but look. I'm melting. So, I would say, judging from the size of the bigger trees down there that we saw, Look, got one, got one. That's no leftover building material. Oh, a little child's shovel. I'll take that home for the children. So, oh, a digging tool. That's a sign, guys. <laughs> it's a sign I'm on the right, on the right track. Okay, look under the tree. Now that's only because that tree has actually come down the bank from there. Okay. So, really good gotcha. So we've got mud flood. Now look at the mud. Look at the dirt. This dirt is useless. Look at the cancer on that tree. So it's a tree cancer. Um, now, if you, if you look at the quality of this mud, this dirt, it is very rich soil here, actually. Actually, it is quite good for growing. But it's mud. You can see that it's that that colour that was pushed all around the hills of northern New South Wales as well. You see? Mud that came. Right. It's so, this is why it's so hard to put together any sort of time frame. We want to, we want to be super sleuth and we want to work all this out, but how? When everything's like one of those knots that are just all knotty and you can't even find the end to untangle your rope because it's just so messed up. So all we could do is have a look at the other things around and what's been affected and how old trees are. But you see, we have been lied to about the trees. Because so I'm going to show you some trees up here that they tell us are only a couple of hundred years old. I call total BS on the government. I told cop they are all in on this, guys. They've rewritten history books. And we're going to go up here and I'm going to show you megalithic monster trees. Right near the castle, or whatever the heck that just was there. That's where it started. Let's go and have a look at these monsters. We're going to start at the small end. These are called Morton Bay figs. Very fitting as we're in Morton Bay, Queensland. However, I've lived here my whole life and you don't see in Queensland and, and Sydney. I've lived in Australia my whole life. And even in the rainforests, um, these trees have been purposely left here because they are that, that old. Here's a small one. Just give Jazzy a drink of water. Maybe you're starting to see what I'm seeing. Look at those leaves, look at the limbs. I'm gonna have to put this down. So, trees that you're about to see, I believe are not hundreds as they say, they're thousands. Because they know how slowly trees grow from living in the same house for 16 years and having the biggest trees on the ridge. 
kind of gives me a bit of street cred with trees. And I was a tree lover for 20 years. Oh, I'm sorry, I was 14 or 15. Come here, Jazz, and um, cut down many, many, many big trees. Come on, have a drink. Okay. So, just look at these beauties. So this is just up from the melting. Um, honestly, I've never seen limbs like this one in Townsville. I thought they were the biggest ones ever, but uh, Townsville Botanical Gardens, but no, these are, these are the king trees. I've never seen the Morton Bay big figs this big with this. <laughs> Branches sticking out so long. I really wish there was a little child there so I could show you the difference. It's hard to judge size when no one's standing there, but let's go into it and have a look. You know, these are mammoths. And so some of the trees survived. The major cataclysm, they survived Armageddon. Some did. Not every single thing was destroyed. Look at that. <laughs> you could build a house on that, a tiny home. Goodness me. <laughs> you could have 20,000 families of monkeys <laughs> living all over this tree. And that tree. And that tree. So I just hope you kind of understand what I've been getting at in this video. They've even built, look, look at this, crazy. She started sagging, so they've built a wedge to hold it up. Stand, stand there to hold, stand it up. That's how huge that is. Like. Yeah, his father wasn't mucking around making these few trees here. And um, I don't think he's mucking around when he's showing us what's really going on either now. But it's up to you all to make up your own minds. And this is a fun journey. When you realise the lies and you get over the fear. It is exciting every single day to be alive now. Where I was getting pretty tired of life at one stage. Really, one stage was just, is this all there is now? I've raised my family, I've done this, I've been that, I've had this career, that career. What for? What did it all matter? Oh, my friends, it does at the end of it. It only matters how you go out of this world. If you've lived like a dog all your life, you don't have to keep living that way. That's the whole thing. You can change. Be the change you want to see. Be that. You keep wanting everybody to change around you. You think it's all their fault. Be the change. Do you have trees in the United States like this, guys, where the roots come out of the trunk and the, and the branches? It's phenomenal. Probably one of the biggest trees you're ever going to see on video from Australia. Unless I go to Tassie again and get down the bottom where I wanted to get to and show you the actual gigantic cut trees. The trees of the days of Jared, days of Enoch. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there, but just have a really good think and have a look around your own. I know a lot of you might live in cities and that, but those of you that live in even half suburban they've just covered up so much it'd be right under your nose you just need to go look for it <laughs> hey scrub all right guys this is beck and jazzy the beautiful morton bay
Let me know how you're all going. Keep on keeping on. Oh yeah, there's one wearing a mask. Oh, we've got one that can't see. <laughs> I'm out.